This is our current technology that we're going to use during this demonstration on how to configure RIP version 2. I have two Nexus 7Ks connected over a routed link between Ethernet port 446 and Ethernet port 448. Let's get started. I'm on my DC1 core device. In the past we've talked about the fact that if you want to use features on the NXOS software, you have to enable those features by using the feature command. RIP is no different, so we're going to go ahead and start with that. We're going to go to our configure terminal, or our global configuration mode, and we're going to type in feature RIP. This turns on that process inside the Nexus and now allows us to configure RIP. The next thing we want to do is configure our RIP instance. So we're going to say router RIP. The instance name we're going to use is CCNA. So we've now configured the RIP instance and we can do things inside that instance and make changes to things like the address family or the metric. In this case we're not going to do any of that. We're just going to exit out. Now Nexus is a little bit different than an iOS based device. In an iOS based device you configure all of the routing underneath the global configuration for the most part. With a Nexus device we do things a little bit differently. We globally enable the process, but when it comes to which interfaces and networks that we want to participate in the routing protocol, we actually go underneath those interfaces and tell them that they are going to participate. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to go to our Ethernet 4 slash 46 and we're going to turn on the routing process for RIP underneath that interface to have it included in the routing protocol. E4 slash 46. I want to type in IP router rip CCNA. Specify that same process name. I've now turned on the rip process on that interface and it's going to start looking for neighbors and advertising for neighbors on that interface. I should now be able to go back and do some show commands. For instance, if I want to see all of my RIP configuration, I can do show run RIP. This shows me all of my individual RIP configuration. It's a great command to see everything in one place. Next, if I want to see details about the RIP process in general, I can do show IP RIP instance CCNA. This will show me the name of my instance, it'll show me the multicast group it's using, what the administrative distance is, and what interfaces are using RIP. Finally, the command I really want to see is show IP RIP neighbors to see if we have any neighbor relationships. And as you can see from the output, I do. I have a neighbor relationship with 192.168.0.2, which is my other Nexus switch, and that relationship is out Ethernet port 446. It also states that I have one and only one neighbor in my RIP configuration. The last command I'm going to show you is show IP RIP route. This command shows me the networks that RIP knows about. In this case, it knows about 192.168.0.0/24. Now, if you remember, the administrative distance for RIP was 120. So, if I do my show IP route, I am not going to see any of the routes from the RIP process installed in my routing table because I have a directly connected route to that network and the directly connected route has a better administrative distance than the RIP route does. Please join me for the next session configuring EIGRP.